Hi guys, I am here with a video on how I um, display my makeup when people are coming over to my place and to do their makeup. So I apparently have a client today, so I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So the first thing is, is um, all of my makeup is on this table that is foldable. I really love foldable items because it stores flat and it doesn't take up so much space in my room. I will usually fold this up and put it to the side beside my bed so it doesn't really um, be an eyesore to anybody else. So I really like this table. I found this table on Groupon. You can get it on Groupon or I bet eBay has it as well. Amazon and um, maybe you can try Carousel. Who knows, they might be selling that as well. So as you can see, my Zuka packs are all displayed on the table like this. This is like a rough overview, overview of how it looks like. Okay, I have my brushes there and my computer. This is just to entertain my client while I do her makeup. So yeah, this is my setup. I have my trash can down there. So let me just bring this down and I'll just show you how it looks like. Okay, so in the first pack, I like to kind of organize the things that I will first do. So the first thing I will do is skincare over here. So mainly my products here are from... Um, a lot of different different brands apparently I have Sun Ives, I have Chanel, I have Model in the Bottle, I have Neutrogena, I have Purity, high end and low end, as long as you believe in those products that will work on your client, I'm sure you guys will gonna love um, putting it in your kit as well. Um, a lot of this are uh, bases and skin protect uh, skin um, bases as well. Um, a lot of um, Revival Labs. I have even body shop bases in there, um, Scandinavia, setting sprays, I put setting sprays here in here as well, a lot of things in here. And then I move on to lips, um, of course this is not the second thing I will do but this is just the order of things that I will do on their eyes. So this one it will be eyeshadow palettes and everything so palettes will be the second one and then lips after that. So this is foundation. Um, over here are all the mineralized skin finishes by MAC. And yeah, mineralized skin finishes. I have Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundations. Really love those foundations. The Ben Nye Setting Powders. And I have here MAC um, Pro Concealers. I have here um, Sleek um, Contouring Kits. They are amazing. I have Laura Geller's um, Blushes and Highlighters. They are really, really, really nice. I like to stick the LA Pro Concealers like that so I can totally see them when I'm at, at this point of, um, at this angle. Okay, I have a crayon stick just to cover eyebrows and all that. In here I have the Boy Brown um, foundation palette. Really love this. I'm just going to show you quickly. So in here it has, it has all the characters and the concealers by Bobby Brown. Amazing. And it comes with a face chart. So even sometimes I will refer to this because it's seriously really, really useful. And I cannot imagine myself not having that palette. So in here I have palettes, eyeshadows, bronzers, highlighters. All in here, I have an hourglass ambient lighting palette. I have um, eyeshadows by these are, uh, I believe, what else? Oh, these are Makeup Geek. <clears throat> Let me just show you. Makeup Geek, Essence, and Sephora in here. In here, I have um, Mary Luminizer, um, Cindy Lou, Betty Lou, and Makeup Geek um, blushes. Makeup Geek blushes are really seriously pigmented. So, in here, I have the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. Really love this one. Amazing. Because um, it's seriously everything you need in one palette. Um, of course, in Singapore, you won't be dealing much on blondes and all that. But try to get this color, um, which is Auburn, Chocolate, Dark Brown, and Ebony for your client. In here, I have the Urban Decay Electric Palette. If you are having those kind of crazy clients who are... Um, okay with doing any kind of color eyeshadow you at least have some shadows with you to work with I bought this on carousel for half price so if you're still starting out it's a great way to um, get your palette oh apparently you can see me hello okay in here I have a blush palette that I departed myself in here are Catrice sleek and Mac in here really love this one and in here are shadows, um, eyeshadows by, I'm sorry, I better take this out so I might not hurt myself. Okay, so in here I have shadows by Crystal Sense um, and Makeup Geek. Really love those shadows. Oops. Super pigmented, super nice. I'm a little bit dirty, but <laughs> it needs a little bit of cleaning. 
but other than that, um, this is what I have in my, oh yeah, I have another one. This is a Marc Jacobs one. I got this one Carousel again. Let me just open this up for you. <coughs> there you go. So this, uh, this is the Siren palette. Really love this palette. Really, really nice colors in here. That gold though. Look at that gold. Beautiful, isn't it? Let me just focus. Can you focus? Yeah. Really pretty. I like this palette because it's so thin and it's so sleek. So I can just put it at the side of my Zuka like that. So let me just pack myself. I'll be right back. So next I have in here is uh, lips. So in the lip uh, Zuka, I have mainly um, lipstick stuff. Lipstick applicators and... Um, so sorry. This is not my applicators. These are like lipstick prep stuff. So I have MAC and Prep, prep Prime. Paul, Paul Frank Lip Balm. I have a Body Shop Lip Scrub. I have a lipstick sealer by more than a bottle. I have Body Shop um, Lip Care. NYX primer in here as well as the Vaseline um, Petrolip Jelly um, Lip Therapy. Okay, in here I have a lip scrub and this is by a local brand. Um, the, the brand is called Pucker Up. Um, you can find them on their website. I will put their link uh, if there is a link area for me to put. This is Pucker Up Sugar Lip Scrub. It's by a um, boyfriend and girlfriend couple um, thing and they make true... Um, what is this? Uh, really natural ingredients, so there's no preservative or whatever. So I really love this. Um, they put it in the bottle like that, so it's really nice to put me in my in my client in my bag. Okay, let me just focus and just show you um, show you what's inside here. I in the Zoeva pencil case. I have all my pencils, lip liners um, by Nyx and Catrice, and I have a Sephora um, sharpener in here. Okay, in here I have an organizer thing. In here I have my lip glosses by Chanel. Um, NYX Chanel again, I have MAC, I have GOSH, I have Mina Generation 2 if I want to do matte lips um, and I have a matte clear gloss um, to do any like, I really like the clear gloss, I've been loving it for myself but um, I might be getting one for myself, I'm not going to use it for my um, bag. Okay in here I have two MAC Pro palettes, lip palettes and this is the Viva Glam, MAC Viva Glam palette and this is in, what is this called? Let's focus. Can you focus? Keep six Viva Glamorous lip palette. Yeah, they come. They in. They comes in one to six. So you can find this at. I don't know if it's still like a limited edition thing. I think it is. So I really love this one. Really like that. And in here I have another Mac Pro palette, and this is called the Six Preferred Pinks, I believe. Let me focus. Yeah, Six Preferred Pinks. I really love that one. And in here is my favorite stuff and it's called the Boy Brown Lip Artist Palette. As you can see, there's the foundation and here it has the lip palette. Amazing. If you have the money, you should totally invest in this one. Um, it has all the lipsticks in her permanent collection. So if you do end up like finishing the, found, uh, the lipstick, you will just need to depart it from a normal lipstick tube and just put it in there. I really love this palette. Some of my favorite brighter colors are Rose Petal. Zoom you in. I cannot zoom. Okay, so there's rose petal, and another one is um, what is this? This color right here, and this color is called pink blossom. Yes, right there. Really love these two colors for bridal. I'm getting a lot of requests for using that colors. So yeah, that's basically it in this one. Okay, okay. In here, let's go to the second row, and in here I have mainly eyeliners, um, glitters paint pots and all that. Let me sit down. I'm so tired. Okay. So in here I have um, eyeliners, um, glitter liners, paint pots by... Um, this is MAC paint pot because I hate it on myself so I will put it in my bag um, just in case I need it for like neutral colors. I have the color tattoo by Maybelline. This is back to the bronze I believe. Let me focus. Can I focus? Yeah, back to the bronze. Amazing. So in here I have uh, Makeup Geek pigments, I have MAC pigments, these are from the collection, Makeup, uh, sorry, Holiday Collection, we love this one. Um, in here I have um, from the Limited Edition Collection, um, Hor Rocky Horror Show Collection, I have the Cinderella Collection in here, yeah, we love that one, it's super glittery, great for bridal work. I have a tape dispenser, this is just to kind of remove any fallout, like glitter and all that to remove from their skin. 
Okay, in here is mainly um, eyeliners, glitter liners, and bases. So I have NYX Jumbo Pencil. I have a ton of them. I have the LA Pro. Is it LA Pro? No. LA, LA Colors Jumbo Pencil. Okay, I have the Makeup Store um, glitter liners. They are amazing. I have the Collection. If you need a dupe for that, there's the Collection Glam Crystals. You can get it at Watson's if you're living in Singapore. Amazing glitter. Super pigmented. I have the Rimmel Scandalize, really good to stay in your waterline, something really cheap and really good to invest in. I have the Too Faced Glitter Glue for adhering glitter and all that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And if you need anything else, you need the Inglot Duraline as well, really amazing for paint pots, keep it dry and all that. If you want to keep, make a pigment into an eyeliner, you, you just need to use the Inglot Duraline, amazing. Okay, right now it's my table is actually on top of a plastic that I got from Daiso um, it, just to keep my table clean so minimize the clean uh, the cleaning time later and on top of that there's a towel which is also from Daiso and it is um, like a microfiber uh, material so it's very easy to clean so this is a rough overview of the second um, second roll right here so in this bag I have I don't like to kind of display my lashes I just like to pick let my customer pick so in here I have lashes from Met for Lashes on Carousel and I have Ardell in here, Ardell um, Individuals and these are just like a random one I got from Carousel again. Mostly lashes are from Carousel, these are from Daiso though, this really fun one. Um, let me focus, yeah. So this is a like spiky one, super nice for like um, monolids uh, girls. And um, yeah, this some of my favorite lashes are from Made for Carousel, uh, Made for Lashes. They're really really nice, super super high end. They look super super fluffy and all that, so I'm, I might be getting more from them. We really love that. So yeah, that's the bag right here. And in here is actually an Ingot pencil case I got with my Zuka, which is um it was it was given to me for free because you purchase more than something something that you would get like a free pencil case. So in here, let me just show you. Um, in here I have NYX jump uh NYX eyebrow gels. I have the Mac Frost Response eye cream in here. I have the Tarte C Brightener. See bright the um what is this called eyeliner oh, no not eyeliner um eye eye cream let me just focus a little bit here yeah there we go Maracuja C bright the eye treatment in here I have razors I have eyelash curlers tweezers um mascara in here tons of mascara um this is a boy brown eye cream that I departed because the bottle is too big so I just put it in there um, yeah and of course you need your Inglot gel liner in number 77 amazing you cannot live without this amazing stuff oh yeah that's it in here so in here I have two packs and here I just put disposables and it's like a cute little packaging I really love this okay in here is like a matte canister um, I don't know if it's like too dark for you okay let me just move a little bit more here okay so in here I have mainly um, brushes and a matte canister let me just put this aside so you guys can see what it is in here oops oh. okay so this is like a matte canister you can I do not know if you can get it in Singapore but I got it from a carousel seller and she uh, she was a pro Mac makeup artist so she sold it to me um, she didn't want it anymore and she she got a new one so I was like okay um, why don't you just give it to me I really love the matte canisters because they are plastic it's very easy to clean um, of course I'm a little bit OCD I will just put like a plastic in there if I'm moving about because I really don't want to end up going home and having to clean so many things which includes the brush canister so in the brush canister I have some uh, brushes that I just cleaned um, recently so I, I didn't have time to put in my brush belt so I kind of let it be there and maybe they um, to use it later. So the matte canisters. Okay, in here, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, in here, I have um, Australis uh, makeup wipe. In here, um, we really love all these makeup wipes. Seriously, amazing makeup wipes for the price. It's only two dollars at Watsons. You can get it at Watsons. Um, I'm not too sure if all Watsons has it, but um, you can try and see. I have the Mac um, powder puff here. Um, I like to use this on uh, myself. To use it when I'm done with the foundation and I don't want to um, 
destroy their foundation so I'll just put it in my hand on my hand here to kind of um, protect the skin while I do their makeup so I really like to use this one okay in here I have um, what makes plus a um, mix plus <laughs> Mac fix plus and I really love this to kind of set all the powders together not really set as in like make sure to have the powders all diffused properly into the skin I really love this one in here I have the Cinema Secrets uh, brush cleaner. I like to use this to spot clean my brushes. I'm just cleaning. I'm just using it to finish the the cleaner, cause it's things like nobody's business. I really hate that for my clients. My clients did ask like, what is that bad smell? So they'll be like thinking, what the hell is that? So I have a bottle of water. This is for myself actually. I like to pick. It. I like to use a big bottle, cause I have to keep filling it up. I have a beauty blender in here, um, the professional one. I have the green one, which is perfect for concealer. I do not know why a lot of people do not like this. I guess it's because it's too small. So what I recommend is for makeup artists, if you're using this brush, is uh, this beauty cleaner, is just to pinch like that. This is like the best way to use the beauty the small beauty blender because it just packs a lot more surface. So for example, I pack it on my hand, my leg, pack it like that. So you have more surface area to work on. And it's better to pinch like that. That gives you much more space. That's just how I learned, but of course you don't have to use it. I have the MAC uh, Beauty Sponge. I really love this one. I really love this to kind of, um, how to say, like blend the foundation. So after you've used the Beauty Blender, right, sometimes it gets a bit tricky if you didn't do it properly. So I'll just go back with this one, um, just dampen it a little bit and just pack on really amazing. I really love this to pack on powders as well. So I will, if I'm using the Ben Nye Powder, so like the Ben Nye banana powder, like this one, let me just focus, can it focus, uh, yes. So the banana luxury powder like this one, and then um, I will use this to pack on color, um, pack on the powders with this uh, pow uh, this sponge, and I'll pack it on my client, and it, it gives a very nice luminous glow to the skin, we really love it. Okay, and I have a mixing palette, a metal one, I have here a uh, Beauty Be So Clean, Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist. I really love this amazing sanitizer mist. Um, yeah, and let me just go through with you. These are just containers from Japan Home. Really amazing. Um, it's actually it comes with two flaps like that, and it's actually a place you can put your cotton pads. I put my hand bandaid. I have shadow shields in here in another container. I put like disposable mascara ones. I um, lip applicators. These are from Efa Sufi, you can get it from her. And I have black Q-tips um, from Daiso. And the white ones are from Sephora. So that is basically it. And if I do need extra brushes, they are in the brush belt right here. And I have my sanitizer here from Bath & Body Works. Let me focus, you guys can see. Da, da, da. Yeah. So this is the Bath & Body Works one, I really love this one. And in here I have a poop bag, this is actually for dogs. But I like to use this for like um, throwing trash and all that, so I usually bring it around with me. Under here, I have my Zuka, um, which is by Inglot. Yeah, that's I. That's it, guys. I hope um, you guys had a good tour of my stuff on my table. Um, I'm just waiting for my client to come, so I thought, why don't I video this down? I really hope you guys enjoy, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.